Hi everyone! I'm very happy to be back for another tutorial on how to use MyPal to automate tasks in your business. This time, uh, I'm filming uh, the first video ever with our brand new home screen, uh, which we, uh, which is the result of our effort to make it more simple and uh, convenient for you to access the most important feature on MyPal, which is to chat and work with your agents and multi-agent workflows. So please let us know if you like this new update. For now, I would like to share with you an interesting use case of my pal, which is to turn research paper into a full scale lecture. Let's check this workflow out. Essentially, this workflow starts with an input, which is the research paper. In this case, should be a file. And it will uh, take start a uh, process of three steps, starting from analyzing the research paper to structuring the lecture design and develop the final content. Now, let's back to the thread window and select this workflow and start trying something with it. This time, I think I want to uh, try with a very classic paper, which is attention is all you need. And I think uh, pro a lot of you probably have heard of this paper before. Let me just click it right here. Okay, so my pet is reading this file. It's done. Now we can start this workflow. With the this uh, turn research paper into lecture content workflow, uh, it first uh, analyzed the research paper, like the key content, uh, and then uh, pro come up with a structure of the lecture with the introduction, the key points, examples, and conclusion. And finally, it will develop the content based on what it have learned uh, from the previous steps. In this, uh, um, in this output, as you can see now, it's not simply an outline. It will also uh, write the full uh, lecture based on, based on the structure it has uh, it has uh, designed previously. Okay, this is uh, the way it's right. Uh, it's uh, rise the lesson right now is uh, based on our prompts of the agents. But you can feel free to uh, adjust it to any way that you see fit. Um, as you can see, we have in like under a minute, we have generated a full content for our lesson. But another question from me, uh, what if I want to share uh, this content with others? What if I want to make a teaching assistant, a virtual teaching assistant that is trained on the, the lesson contents like this one, uh, so that, that that virtual teaching assistant can chat to my, to my students? Well, I can do so with my pal too. What I can do is to open this um, result as a note uh, so that like the uh, lesson content, this lesson content would be, uh, would be, uh, would become a knowledge source on my pal. And I can hover to this chatbot tab, create a new chatbot for, um, for teaching assistant. Let me uh, try, let me find my teaching assistant agent. Okay, I think it's somewhere right here. Uh, I, I think I need to add a, a search uh, a search bar for this uh, selection as soon as possible. But for now, let's try to find it. I think I couldn't. Okay, bear with me guys. I think it's somewhere right here. Let's just pick this one, answer agent. And then I can, um, I can uh, select the smart note that I have just created as a knowledge source for, um, for this chatbot. And let's name it attention is all you need chatbot. Hit create and done. So with this, attention is all you need chatbot, I can 
I will have a link that I can share to my students and my students can go here and ask anything like what is this paper about and the chatbot will be will uh, learn from the content it can read from the uh, the paper and answer for me actually the answer agent that I have selected is uh, prompted to be in Vietnamese so that's why it's answer in Vietnamese but that's it that's how you can like both generate the lesson content and build a virtual teaching assistant on my pal I hope you'll like today's tutorial and I will see you in my next videos